What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video coming to you guys today to talk about a very important topic for those of you in the world of credit cards because you know what? That's what we do around here, right? We talk credit cards, we talk credit, we talk loans, all that kind of stuff. It's just like the niche in the world of finance that I really enjoy talking about, as you guys can tell here on this channel. I'll be talking about some other stuff you know, in the future um, and things like that as well. But a lot of the stuff I talk about tends to be obviously credit focused, credit related, and that kind of thing. And I got something important today to talk about that came from a Navy Federal employee, the same one who shared all that lovely information in the video I made uh, for you guys a while ago about how to get the uh, perfect 450 internal score with Navy Federal. Same employee. Ugh. <laughs> this is like my favorite freaking person in the world because as some of you know, when it comes to uh, some of the info you get from Navy Federal talking to phone reps or talking to um, even people who work at the branch and that kind of thing, like some of the info you get is not accurate, just to put it lightly. A lot of you experienced that, okay? So we're going to be talking about this today, about the best time to apply for a Navy Federal credit card. So guys, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on this video. This is going to be a good one for you. You guys have been great at helping grow this channel. I appreciate you guys so much because this channel has been doing well. It's been growing. It was took me a while to get to a point where it was actually, you know, said really like starting to pay off for me. In the last, you know, month or so, it's really just, uh, just been a nice increase um, of growth on the channel. So if you're new, welcome. Hey, if you've never commented on the channel, please do so. Just just say hi in the comment section, okay? Just say hi, right? Say hi, I'm new here, uh, and you know I would be happy to reply to your comment down there. So as we're talking about this state with Navy Federal, um, you know, because throughout the year, uh, you guys have seen me do videos on these, right? I mean, because they change their credit card offers every so often. Every two to four months, I would say. Uh, it just depends on when they do their credit card offers. Now, when companies... <clears throat> Whether it's a credit union, whether it's um, you know a huge bank, credit card company, whatever, right? Any company that's or organization, I'll say that is of you know that's large enough, um, they're going to be having a marketing department. They're going to be planning when they actually do these credit card offers. So it's definitely not random. Okay, some of you saw my video about uh, how to know when Navy Federal is giving you bad information, and the woman I spoke with who was newer at her job, she asked her questions. She went and asked her manager, and you know about credit card offers and that kind of thing. And she's like, oh yeah, they're just they're just random. It's like, no. <laughs> they have marketing departments. They have sales departments. They have people who uh, actually, you know, use, um, do uh, customer research and that kind of thing and try to strategize when to make these best credit card offers. So with Navy Federal, here's what we've seen throughout the year. And I was sitting down, I was talking to the guy and we actually even talked kind of like throughout the calendar year, what you can kind of expect. Because um, the guy's been with Navy Federal for a while, even longer than I initially thought he's been with them. So he was, we were talking how early in the year, right, to start off the new year, do you guys remember January, I think, 3rd or 4th? <clears throat> they came out with these new offers, I think it was January 3rd, and almost everything on it had a balance transfer, like sign-up bonus, which most people is like not a big deal. But that's part of Navy Federal strategy um, is to do these sign-up bonus or sign-up bonuses with balance transfers at that time. Because why? Because so many people spend money during the holiday season that you know they oftentimes can't pay off all the things they bought. People oftentimes overspend during the holidays, so they need some place to put that um, balance, and that's why they offer the balance transfer at that time. Now I remember. Once February ended and once March got here, a lot of us were looking, hoping for like, hey, they're probably going to have some pretty good offers coming up because these ones right now are not that good. Um, now, they did bring back more of the cashback sign-up bonuses, probably not to the extent that most people thought they would. Even even myself, looking at them, I, I'm looking at them. You guys remember some of my videos. I said, well, I mean, this is cool. It's not as high as it's been before. So like, yeah, it's better than the last offer, but it doesn't seem to be as good as some of the things they've done in the past. Now, part of the reason they brought that offer out with the sign-up bonuses is because why? Think about it. After you, once you start getting to like March and April, right? You're getting into tax season. People are getting tax refunds. So if people get, you know, thousand dollars, two thousand, three, four thousand dollar tax refund. Uh, which, by the way, is actually better if you have that money earlier throughout the year. You can structure your um, paycheck at work that way, so you get that money earlier throughout the year, and you don't have to wait all the way until you file your taxes to get your own money back from the government. I know a lot of people they think it's like cool to get a big tax refund, but it's actually better if you get that money earlier. Uh, in the year, and that way you don't actually get a huge chunk back of your own money that the government's holding on to. So, side note, but what happens? So, tax season, people get tax refunds, right? Oftentimes they go spend those. So, for someone who gets a tax refund, it's easier for them to spend a thousand, two thousand dollars, three thousand, four thousand dollars to hit a sign up bonus. So they can get a uh, hundred dollars back, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, um, you know, whatever the offers at the time. I think right now the 
um, cash rewards card with Navy Federal is you spend two thousand dollars, you get two hundred back. I think the more rewards is you spend twenty five hundred to get two hundred back, and uh, the go rewards I think you spend a thousand to one hundred fifty back, something like that, right? So they're offering those those because what's that time of year? Tax season, okay? So people get their tax refund checks now. The way Navy Federal did it this time is a little bit different because b- the promotion before, all their promos expired at the same time. This time around, the promo they're in right now as I make this video is different. Two of their cards expire in two months. Two of the, or two of the promos, excuse me, expire in two months. Two of the promos don't expire until uh, July, like July 4th or July 5th. So they're staggered this time, which is a little bit different. So sometimes in the summer, the spring... You have tax season. Sometimes in the summer they can offer pretty good deals too when it comes or pretty good sign up bonuses, particularly for cash back. But really the big one, this is when I got mine, I really seems to be in the fall. Because I applied for my um, flagship card with Navy Federal in the fall. It was August. So it was it was August, so that's right what's going on in August, okay? So you think early in the early in the calendar year, people are paying off um, holiday shopping, right? Because money they overspend during the holidays. When you get in the springtime, you're into tax season. You get in the summertime, sometimes summers can have Pretty good offers because people go on vacation, families travel, and things like that. But what happens in the fall? In the fall, you have kids go back to school. So families do back-to-school shopping. You have college students getting ready to go off to college. Um, you have a lot of those kinds of things going on. So sometimes in the fall, those can be the big big time uh, to get good sign-up bonuses. Also, what else happens in the fall? People start getting ready for the holidays. They start preparing for the holiday season. They're making travel plans, right? They're making travel plans for um, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, and that kind of thing. So people, you know, wind up also spending a good chunk during the fall, right? That's like probably the, that's, yeah, that is the biggest money-making quarter uh, for like retail is the fourth quarter because of all the money they could spend. So really, from what I'm seeing here, I thought the tax season time would be better offers to maybe federal, but it looks like generally speaking, you're going to get those better offers in the fall. And that's what I talked to this employee about. He said, yeah, I see the fall is probably a pretty good time. It seems like the spring for tax season and then the fall when, um, you know, kids go back to school, right? Kids are going to college, that kind of thing. And then people are spending more, starting to spend more and make their holiday travel plans. So really those times when people, you think about when people are going to be spending a large chunk of money, you know, when a lot of people are going to be, okay? When like the masses of people are going to be spending the most money. Those are times when credit unions and, you know, banks or other places are often to give those larger sign-up bonuses because they know it's going to be easier for someone who has the disposable income at that time or they're already going to be spending a bunch of money during that time because they've got two, three, four kids that got to go back to school because they've got family they're going to travel uh, across the country to see and that kind of thing. So when there's certain holidays and certain calendar events that happen year after year like clockwork, these companies know this. They know these are going to be times when people are spending more money so it can be a good time to make those credit card offers with bigger sign-up bonuses. So springtime can be good, but really it seems like particularly from maybe Federal's perspective, the fall is probably one of their better times uh, for credit cards. So if you're someone who's like on the fence about applying for a credit card with maybe Federal, if you don't, you know, if the springtime offers you didn't think were that great and you're not in any kind of hurry, it could be worth waiting until the fall to apply for a credit card. If, you know, you'd rather just get the card and get the age, um, you know, have it start aging and adding to your, um, you know, history, then hey, you can just go ahead and apply for it now. But as far as timing it out for best times to apply for credit cards, spring is probably... I mean, if you want to get a good sign-up bonus, early in the year is probably the worst time, okay? That's probably the worst time to do it. The fall is probably the best. Second, I would probably say, is the springtime. Summer seems like it could, be, it could be more hit or miss, but during that fall season, is generally going to be a good time when companies know people are going to be spending. Also, heck, they want to get their numbers to look good to close out the year, right? Those fourth quarter numbers to show more profit um, and more revenue for the company and that kind of thing. So this, a lot of this is cyclical. A lot of this is you know, by the calendar. Any of you that worked in retail probably know this, right? They have a whole entire calendar that these retail stores know how they're going to be selling products, which products are going to be selling, how they're going to be shifting uh, what they're advertising and deals and all that kind of stuff. So a similar concept when it comes to credit cards for credit unions or for um or for credit card companies. So just understand that that when you're looking to buy or when you're looking to apply for credit card, particularly with Navy Federal in this case, fall is probably going to be your best bet. Spring is probably going to be second. Early in the year, not good. And then summer is probably hit or miss. If you guys have any disagreements or you agree, tell me down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. But just understand there's a bit of a strategy to it, okay? So if you're thinking about when you should apply for a credit card, just think about what Generally speaking, the masses of people, the majority of people are going to be doing throughout the year in terms of their spending cycles and how they spend their money. So guys, if you're brand new to the channel again, thank you. Welcome for being here. For those of you that are returning, thank you definitely for helping the channel grow as much as it has. I appreciate you guys being so awesome. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep growing your money.